probably start here and create a quad and a quad right here that goes all the way down to the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that just to show that it can be done. Let's get rid of that face and the corresponding face on the bottom. Oh, I messed up. We don't need to do that yet. We need another division right here. And we need to select that division and look at it from the side. Let's look at it from the other side. Alt S, hold down Shift and grow it up. G, Z, we want to pull it down just a little bit. There we go. And we want to get these pulled down just a little bit as well. G, Z. Okay. Let's go ahead and add another division across the toes. Alt S, shrink that a little bit, maybe. Okay. And let's go ahead and select all this region right here. It might be faster to have actually used faces, but we're lazy. We're not going to do that. It's it's easier for us just to grab them and pull them down. Let's rotate them a little bit as well. Okay. You can see that we're kind of starting to get a, a foot shape out of this. And I may even go with a different method. I'm just going to try this. Cause this, is, this is a slightly experimental method. I'm going to try and extrude that E region. Just click on it. Alt S. Hold down Shift and grow it up. I'm going to smooth it once or twice. Alt S. Grow it up again. Let's go to the top. Let's pull that out. Like so. And we'll do some vertex tweaking. Now right here, we want that to kind of come up. We need to fade that into the toe. So we'll grab these two and smooth them. Let's grab all of those. Now you can see we start getting a toe happening. Now I don't want to um, get in here and start creating all the toes and stuff just because, to be quite honest, I can, but uh, I'm going to be wasting your time if I do that. Let's rotate that a little bit. And that's how I would just do the uh, base of the toe. I would actually grab all these faces and pull it out again. But we don't need to uh, get too silly with it. <coughs> I'm going to grab all of these. I'm going to pull them up on Z. Holding down Shift. Because the foot is somewhat just a big elongated hand in many ways. Let's pull this up a little bit on Z. And then just this one. Take this one and this one down. This one. There we go. That's pretty much our foot. It's all right mouse button with faces selected right between these two. That'll select the band going around the bottom. And if we hit Alt S, hold down Shift, we can expand that a bit. There we go. And let's scale that down on Z a little bit. Okay. That's pretty much our foot. So let's go ahead and take that into layer 2, and let's go ahead and head over there. <coughs> and <laughs> Odd shape foot. Let's go ahead and get it placed a little bit better. Let's go to the side. And based on the extremely long legs she has, we can shrink up her legs 
uh, to be pretty simple actually. But I like the fact that they're long, so let's just tab into there. Let's use vertices. And actually, let's just not do that. Let's just scale the whole thing up on Y. Let's scale it all up just a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Now then, I want to start connecting all these things. Then we'll call this video over, and in the next video we're going to attach. We'll start attaching everything. Select the hand and the foot, and then the body. Control J. Join selected meshes. Meshes. And there we go. We can see that everything is subdivided and attached. It's not attached, but it is subdivided. There we go. And you can see those feet are very smooth. May need a little bit more work down here. A little bit more rounding because this whole thing is dipped in. By smoothing these corners, it will round it greatly. And in alternate method, we can just grab all those faces and do a two sphere, but um, that's not, you know, really necessary at this point. It's probably better that we wait until we have everything selected or joined together because it's going to change things a little bit. So those hands might. No, they're about the right size. Just the forearm's a little bit thick right there. S, Z. Let's go down on the Z. Pull that one up. Scale it down on the Z as well. Not quite so much. Okay, that's a lot better. Anyway, let's go ahead and save our scene. Uh, 11, we'll be fine with that. We'll just save over 11. Tab out edit mode, save it again. Okay, uh, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and start attaching all those things. And for those of you that have the head modeling video as well, um, we're going to go ahead and throw the head in uh, later. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.